There used to be loads of holiday makers here. Then in 1997, this couple in their 20s hired a cottage for their honeymoon. Back home, we still had tourists. They were here for about a week. Loads of people saw them. Come the end of the week, they're supposed to have left. The cleaner comes to get their cottage ready for the next booking. The car's parked outside. Creepy. Very creepy. So, of course, Dad gets... So Dad's asking around, right? Knocking on doors, but this couple is nowhere to be found. Vanished off the face of the earth and all that. Tabloids pick it up. The place is swarming with journalists. It's a frenzy. There's no sign of them, nothing. And then Princess Diana died. Papers moved on to that story, fizzles out. Finished. Ian Adair's drinking in here. In here? Oh, I drank in here all the time. Always sat right there. Anyway, this night, he's had way more than usual. People say he's talking weird. He's making a nuisance of himself. Says he's got half a mind to come back and shoot the place up. Nice. Dad drives up to five acres. Knocks on the door. Says, just want to talk to you, etc. Ian doesn't answer. Dad's walking back to his car when Ian opens the upstairs window and shoots him. So Dad, crawling back to his car, calls for backup when from inside the house. Backup arrives. They go in. Ian Adair shot his mum and dad, then himself. Behind a wardrobe is a hidden door. Leading to a bunker, old World War II or 60s or something. Here we go. And inside it's like a torture room. This guy had been abducting people, keeping them down there and doing God knows what to them for weeks at a time. And then burying the bodies out in the fields there. The honeymoon couple? <laughs> Fuck me and the rest of them. The rest? Over the years, nobody was really talking it all up. How many were we talking about? Eight. Oh. All been tortured. And the rest of it? Dark sex things, really extreme stuff. Yeah, uh, give okay, me nightmares. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was Ian Adair.